Hi, Matthew. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello, students and parents. My name is Matthew Piper. I'm with Portland State University. Thank you for listening today, and also thank you for listening to me in English. So, Portland State University is in Portland, Oregon. A lot of Chinese students might know um, Oregon, or sorry, sorry, Portland as the home of the NBA Trailblazers, or also the home of Nike. Uh, Portland is the biggest city in the state of Oregon. It's a really pretty place. It's between the mountains and the ocean. It's safe. The people are very friendly. The food culture is very good, and、um, it's also famous for being a great city for music, art, and design. Okay, could I get the next slide, please? So,、uh, Portland State University, we call it PSU, is a big school. We have about twenty-six thousand students.、Uh, we have undergraduate degrees, graduate degrees, PhDs, and we have students from all over the United States, all fifty states, and we have students from all around the world. We have about one thousand six hundred international students from everywhere,、uh, maybe ninety different countries, and we have probably about. Three、uh, hundred or four hundred Chinese students, so it's an incredibly global space, and I think that everybody can feel welcome there. Okay, next slide, please. So PSU is a city school. We're in downtown Portland, which is a major city in the United States. So if you want a small town college experience, or if you want to be in the countryside, this is not the school for you.、Uh, we are. Fifty blocks in the middle of Portland. It's a really beautiful campus. It's very connected to the city, but also it's、uh, it's pretty. It's got a park that goes right through it with lots of trees.、Um, so you get the best of both worlds. You get a pretty green campus in the middle of a city, and we have a really nice campus life. We have eleven、um, cultural and resource centers for students. I'll talk about those later. We also have more than two hundred cl、um, clubs and student organizations. So, whatever you like to do, whatever you're interested in, you can find other students that are also interested. And we're a Division One sports school, so that's the top level of sports in in university athletics in the United States. Okay. So, another great benefit of Um, Portland State University, being in the middle of Portland, is that we're very connected to a lot of the local companies. So, I mentioned that Nike is based in Portland. Also, Intel is based in Portland. Daimler Trucks is based in Portland. Adidas North America is based in Portland. So, there are a lot of huge multinational companies that have roots in this city.、Um, we're also known as a. a, a Hub for tech. So, everyone's heard of Silicon Valley, right? So they call Portland Silicon Forest because there are so many tech startups、um, around the city. And we're very close to Seattle, so we're only a few hours drive from Seattle. So a lot of Seattle companies also hire our graduates. For example, Microsoft, Boeing, Amazon—they all hire our graduates. And、um, just one fact. The average salary for a PSU graduate after they graduate is about fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. So we have a lot of great cultural and resource centers to support you as an international student.、Um, today, I will highlight the International Student Life Team. We take care of our international students from the moment you arrive in Portland. We take care of you. So. We can arrange airport pickup. Sometimes we have a welcome booth at the airport to greet you.、Um, we have a great team that does international student orientation to help you get used to the school and the city. And we take care of students all the way to graduation and beyond. So if you have questions about anything, visa questions, academic questions, cultural questions, we can help you. We also celebrate holidays with our international students. We have a lot of cultural activities and and just fun things to do for them. Okay, next slide, please. So whatever you want to study, we probably offer that. 
we have we have more than 200 majors and minors and certificate programs to choose from. Um, there are too many to list, but I will highlight a few. One of them is our School of Business. It's a very good um, school of business. You can study finance, marketing, management, human resource management, advertising management, um, accounting, and then we have a really interesting concentration called supply and logistics management. This has an incredibly great um, job placement rate after you graduate. Those students are hired by companies almost immediately. And um, I'll also highlight our engineering and computer science college. So if you want to study engineering, we have electrical, mechanical, civil, environmental, computer, and also computer science. If you are a designer, if you're a creative person, we have one of the best graphic design programs in the whole country. And Portland is a design town. It's really famous for design and aesthetic. So if you're interested in that, it's a great environment to be in. OK, next slide, please. So when you apply to PSU, you have a choice. You can do you can apply for our university studies curriculum or our honors college curriculum. Most students choose university studies. Um, one interesting thing about university studies is that every year you will take one thematic class that will tackle a real world problem in the community and the world. So it could be talking about poverty or in environmental issues, something like that. You can choose. There are many choices. But the point is you're going to be working with other students to solve a real world problem. And before you graduate, you have to do an internship or community project. It's required. If you choose the Honors College, it's very similar. Um, but the academic rigor is a little bit higher. It's, um, the admission requirements are higher. There's, there are more research opportunities. And um, there is also an additional scholarship that they offer. For Honors College students, you must do a senior thesis or creative project before you graduate. So it's a great way to um, develop real world skills. OK, next slide, please. So our freshman admission requirements are very simple. There's no mystery. We only are looking at your high school grades. That's all. We do not require SAT score. We do not re require ACT score. We only need to see your high school transcript. For English proficiency scores, we accept TOEFL, IELTS, DET, and PTE, and the scores are all listed here. If you are doing the IB curriculum or British curriculum or AP curriculum, there are opportunities to earn up to one year of university credit. So please contact us if you're in one of those curriculums. OK, next slide, please. So if your English is not great yet, that's OK. We can still admit you. Um, if you were a good student in high school, you can apply. We can admit you, and you will be placed in our pathway program. So in the pathway program, you have a chance to study English and also earn PSU credit at the same time once your English gets better. And after you finish the pathway program, you don't have to submit any test scores. OK, next slide, please. Yes, we have scholarships for international students. The most common one is called International Achievement Scholarship. You don't have to do anything extra to apply. If you are a good student, we will award it to you. Also, this um, chart says $4,500 per year for that. Actually, for fall 2021, that will increase to $10,000 annually. So if you're going to apply for next year, the scholarship um, number will be pretty great. Um, and again, we have other scholarships too, like the Honors College. And then once you begin at PSU and you do two terms at least, you can apply for additional scholarships. OK, next slide, please. This is the general admission, admissions timeline. Most students apply in the fall. Um, they secure housing in the winter, they confirm enrollment in the spring, and then they do international orientation in the summer. But don't worry. Actually, PSU does not have any strict deadlines. We are admitting all year long. 
So you can you don't have to remember any special deadlines. We are always admitting students, but of course for international students, you should leave a little bit of time um, for um, getting your visa and your housing done. So earlier is better. Okay, next slide, please. Yeah, so this is our contact information. I will also put my email address in the chat box. If you wanna contact me via WeChat, I'll put my WeChat um, name on there. And I encourage you to go to our website pdx.edu. You can learn all about the school and we have a wonderful uh, virtual tour that you can do as well to see what the city and the school looks like. And that's all. So I guess I'm ready to take questions. All right. Um, thanks for your great sharing. That's awesome. And uh, we do prepare some uh, questions for you. So I want to ask you about campus life. So the first question is, uh, What's the weather? Uh, what's the weather like in this? It's a really good question. So um, our part of the country is called the Pacific Northwest. It's very similar to Vancouver, Seattle, Portland. Um, it's 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 a mild climate. So it's never really hot. It's never really cold. Um, summer is absolute heaven. It's like heaven. Um, fall and spring are kind of cool and winter is very rainy so I will warn you it's very rainy in the winter but it very rarely snows it's um, actually I love to be outdoors I love running and sports and I can do that all year round it's usually no problem um, but so most of the year is kind of just nice and cool summer is perfect and winter is rainy sounds beautiful all right uh, the one student asked uh, where where the student can eat like does the university have like Chinese restaurant yeah it's a great question so Portland is a food city um, if you go to a lot of towns or cities in the US to be honest the food is not great so um, but Portland is different that's one reason why I love living here we have every kind of food here we have international food from all around the world we have um, really great local unique healthy american food uh, you might be very surprised and also we have a lot of fusion food like mixtures of different food cultures so um, we have amazing restaurants yes we have chinese restaurants um, and our city is famous for um, food trucks so we have more than 600 food trucks in portland and we have about 40 food trucks on our campus. So you can walk outside and you can eat Thai food, Chinese food, Japanese food, Indian food, Mexican food, really anything that, that is out there. Um, but on, uh, on our campus, yes, we have a um, great uh, dining hall. So we, um, the food there is really good. There are, there's a lot of variety. So you can eat actually in the dining hall. Um, there are a lot of other buildings on campus that have small restaurants and cafes. Um, so there are a lot of choices. And again, being right downtown, um, they're just, you can walk out the door and you have hundreds and hundreds of options waiting for you. All right, that's great. Okay, the last question is like, because of the COVID-19, so is this still safe for going there now? Yeah, so it's a really important question. So the state, so the U.S. is a quite big state. Some states are not doing well with COVID. Some states are doing well with COVID. So Oregon, I'm, I'm lucky to live here because Oregon state government is doing quite a good job. I think we are the third or fourth lowest um, in terms of cases in the United States per capita. Um, PSU, so in Oregon, people are generally using Doing, following the rules and doing common sense things like uh, mask mandates um, or social distancing. PSU is this term, fall term, is doing mostly online with some limited classes on campus. So, um, so far it's been going great. We have uh, free testing for all students and anyone in the PSU community. We have contact tracing. We have um, 
a rule of mask wearing and social distancing. There are some students living on campus and they're all in single rooms right now with lots of different rules about how to interact with other people. Um, dining services are open, but um, it's takeout only right now. So we're doing a lot of things to make it as safe as possible for you. If you go to our website, there is a dedicated coronavirus page that you can look at and you can learn about all the efforts that we're making to keep you safe as a student. But it's been going pretty smoothly for this fall term, luckily. All right, thanks for your great answer. So that will be all for you, Session. Thanks so much for letting us know more about for, uh, let us know more about Portland. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So I'll put my contact information in the box and yeah, I sure. hope to continue the conversation. Bye everybody. Bye.